This, ooh. It's like a million pounds. Holy. Apple Watch. Now he's talking. Now he's talking. You want, you want your friend to get some too? He was busted and arrested for hiring a hitman to take someone out. We just drove 100 miles out to Portsmouth, Virginia to pay $580 for this little tiny storage unit, but it looks so cool. I might overpay, but I'm so excited to get into this one. Come on. So we paid a little high for this one, but just from the door, it has everything we're into. I see video games, I see shoe boxes, I see cards, Funko Pops. That's just the nerdy kind of stuff I'm into, so it was worth the gamble. Let's pull up the little box in the corner first and see what's in this one. You know, I saw this name on the box on the picture and I kept trying to Google this box case and I could not find nothing on what that was, so. Ew, what is this? This doesn't look pleasant. Mom is another word for love. Oh. <laughs> Uh, let's see what else we have. Get back. What is Black Ant King? What is this, actually? It looks like a little cigarette case or something. Yeah. Let's see. You have a lottery addiction? Welcome to the club. I like playing, too. Oh. It's not in there, but I like seeing that, too. Now let's get into this box, because this is one of the main reasons I bought the unit. Look what you can see from the door. Look at all the Xbox games. Now, if they're cases, I'll cry. If they're games, we win. What do I pull first? Any of Warriors 3, Arachi Ultimate. Oh. In there. Relief, relief. <laughs> I see Xbox 360 and Xbox One. Let's check Xbox One first, because they're more couple, important. Though. There's only two 360s. Yeah, maybe the console will be in there. Titanfall 2? Oh, it's got, oh, never mind. I thought it had Battlefield. <laughs> yeah. No, it has Titanfall 2. It looks like, it's, ooh, GTA 5. Oh, yeah, nice. is it just one disc on Xbox? No, it's got both discs in there. Nice. That's what's up. Wolfenstein. Oop, that's in there too. And Diablo, we got that too. <laughs> and then we got, oh, no. Good and job. well, maybe <laughs> I should have taken into consideration science. Yes. Shadow of Mordor, I have this yep. game, it's pretty good. All right, now let's see what went flying everywhere. This is, it just says V. v. All right, ooh, Final Fantasy 15, that's in there as well. And let's see these last few things here. Assassin's Creed Unity in there. So I guess we're gonna have all the games in there. Dark oh, and Dark Souls 2 is not in there. And well, at least all the Xbox. Well, you know, I'd rather have there. the Xbox One than the 360. Yeah. Let's see if that's what these are though. Oh, there it is. Right. Yeah. No, no. That was that one. I yeah. Forgot. Assassin's Creed. Hey, look, Mad Max Mad for Mad Xbox Max. One. Oh, look, Diablo. Oh. Now let's see. We also have a wallet and it's Coach. All right. Coach wallet right there. And it looks like there's some cards in it. Nothing that we can use, personal stuff. Let's look in the front, nothing. But I gotta say, that's in like nice. miraculously good shape. Nice little coach wallet. Let's check the fanny pack. Anything in here? It doesn't feel like it, but cool. it's all flashy and sparkly. Papers, and what, what is that? Um, I don't know. <laughs> Smell this, this smells like straight weed. Mm. Yes, it does. And I don't want to know what that is. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know either. Let's see what's in this little nerdy grab box. That's what it looks like to me. So, was that oh, Harry Potter, I'm guessing? HP? Yep. Little Harry Potter guy. So, I've seen a lot of these boxes in there too. Like this, what does it say? War Machine? Mm -hmm. And there's the little pieces wrapped up. So, I don't know if this is like for tabletop games or what these are exactly, but. So I went ahead and typed in War Machine Behemoth, which is what the box said in the eBay, and these were the sold listings I was getting for pre-owned versions of this figure. It looks like they are worth quite a good amount for such a small figure. There's quite a few boxes that look like that in there. Ew. What is this, a Dremel? Mm -hmm. All right, and we have this thing. What is this, just a poster? I think so. Star Wars poster. We have, aw, I was about to say we have some Magic the Gathering cards, but it's not in there. How successful people lead. <laughs> First step, don't lose your storage unit. Yep. <laughs> Driven to give. All right, what is that? Come here. Ooh, a magic, random magic card in a sleeve. Why does it have that thing on there? I don't know. It's on the outside? I don't yeah. know, is that on the card itself? It might uh, it might be in another sleeve inside the plastic sleeve. It is. Oh. It's on this. Ooh. Hmm. 
Is that worth anything, Magic People? Ari Leah Exemplar. I'm not even going to try. <sighs> <laughs> uh, let's see. So I see some more Magic cards in here, though. Look. Right here. And these are from, let's see if I can find the year, 2019. So I don't know if it's like most cards where usually the older ones are the ones that have more value, but I don't know. We'll see. This is like a charging bank. Cool, I need one of those. More magic cards. What are these Warhammer things? Are these all magic? No, what is that? Some other type of nerdy looking card game. I like nerdy stuff. That's what I'm into. Um, not magic though. A couple of those Warhammer boxes. Here's magic. That's got some cards in it. Yep, check that out. It's like halfway full of Magic cards. If you don't know what Magic the Gathering is or you never heard of it, is it actually a card game? And the reason why it's so exciting is there are single cards that can sell for hundreds and hundreds of dollars by themselves. So if we're finding stacks of cards, our chances of finding the rare one are going up, up, up. And we have, what is this, a vape I'm assuming? Yeah. That looks advanced. Um, there's a little character. This looks like a holographic magic card. Mountain. And then let's see, oh, not again. There's some more little pieces. Look like they probably go to like tabletop games. <laughs> and paper and a giant Sharpie. I'm bringing out the filing cabinet. Let's see if there's anything inside it. The fact that it's taped shut kind of gives me hope. Let's rip the tape off. Let's see what's in the first drawer. Oh yeah, it's not empty. But I don't really know what this is. Oh, do I want to know what's in here? I don't know. I'm gonna open it. This could be a very bad mistake. Oh, it's just brackets. All right, it was a bad shape. And these are just a bunch of envelopes with nothing in them. Strange, but all right. Let's see, it's in the second drawer. That one's empty. Open. What the heck, why'd it stop? <laughs> uh, we have a package, some junk. So this thing is just full of trash, but it is a nice filing cabinet. So this is an air mattress. I want to set that aside. Let's see what's in this stuff over here. I just lost some body fragrance stuff. So first, whoa. Oh, remote. Uh, what else is in there? Something else is, oh. <laughs> I love you. Uh, uh, and Febreze, okay, that's, yeah. All right. We're just gonna put that down. But look at these, these are like all more of those like figurines. I only recognize these because they go into a lot of toy stores and a lot of toy stores are also game stores and they always have this kind of stuff sitting on like the tabletop. So that's my only guess. You want a cake? Yeah. We have a cake tin, but ah. it actually looks pretty clean. Yeah, it does. So a cake tin. And now let's pull out the little boxes right here. But before I open these guys, make sure you take two seconds and like this video to help us out a ton and give it a share. Please, please, I don't ask for much. Just share it to help us out. We appreciate it. <laughs> let's see what's in here. Amazon Basics. Now this looks like a router. Yeah, very old one. Yeah. This, ooh. Look at all this magic together. Are these all actual cards in their sleeves? They are. Let's see where this is from, 2016. So this is like their deck. Yeah, this is what they're actually, they 2015. They're, ah, my OCD, you can't do this to me. They have them all different orders and stuff, but the years vary on them greatly. So this is gonna be something we'll probably put in our auction. Well, look down below, look how many magic cards are in here. There's a ton, holy crap. I mean, there's gotta be at least a few hundred Magic the Gathering cards all in this little box, here. all the way down. Yeah. Two stacks too, and this whole box, and then their actual whole deck in the sleeve. So no telling what kind of money is sitting in that box. Next little box here. See, more of this Warhammer stuff. Well, look what they pay for it. 48 bucks for this box. So this one's sealed, unopened. I don't know if that's outdated in a good way or a bad way. Is it old and worth more? Or is it outdated and worth less? I don't know right now, but it's sealed. What is that? Like a airbrush? airbrush? Yeah, I was about to say that. Hmm, I wonder if it's in there. I can't really tell. I don't know how heavy those things are supposed to be. Let's see. Nope. Troll. Maybe we'll find it. Maybe we'll find it. Let's see. Let's just put it back in there for now. And now we have <coughs> Lords of Mars. Warhammer too. Yeah, a lot of Warhammer stuff in here. That's for sure. Never even heard of it. I just seen their stores. <laughs> More little figurines. Look. Hmm. More of the same type of little things, and I think this whole bag here. Is more of the same. Yeah, more of the, I think it's like I said before, I think it's just those tabletop games. I have no idea how they're played. So, little box here. I don't like that I see the Vaseline bottle on top. Um, this is... Uh, Paint thing? I guess. I don't even know. 
There's your Vaseline, which I hope was used for dry skin and nothing else. And in here, you never would guess. Look at all these. There's so many of these little figurines. Like, I wish I knew something about them. Some of these are, these are dated 1992 on them. So they're older than I am. No telling, like again, just like the magic cards. These are just those things that you just have to find people that know, because they could be worthless or they could be like, you could easily pay 50 or 60 bucks or something like this. I mean, I have a Funko Pop I paid over 300 for, so I know like the littlest toys can be worth a lot of money. Let's pull out the Funko Pop so we can see. So first we have World of Warcraft double pack of Duraton and Orgim. Uh, Lord of the Rings, Gimli. <clears throat> And then we got a Triss from The Witcher, one I actually recognize, so <laughs> only one. So technically, four Funko Pops, that's a double pack. Let's pull out these two card boxes here, and if these are all Magic the Gathering, I'm gonna be in a very good mood, because we should be sitting on quite a cash mountain. Let's take this one open first. Let me see. What is this? Are these all Magic? Let's see. Uh, it looks like it, yeah, these are all Magic the Gathering. Woo! Woo! That's a lot. Seriously, look in here. This whole box is full. There's another deck sitting down here. See that? This, ooh look, Magic the Gathering Commander. That whole box is full. And I have a feeling that this box right here might have magic cards. Something's telling me that. I don't know what it is, but let's see. Oh, look at that. All Magic the Gathering cards in this first box. We could be sitting on a treasure trove right here. This is why I wanted to take the gamble. Nerdy stuff's expensive. Let's look at the big box here. This one is like way heavier. So let's see, it's definitely a cards in them. Whoa, all magic. Look at this. I mean, this has to be hundreds, if not a thousand right here. Is that one in a sleeve? I don't know why that one's randomly in a sleeve, but that's a lot of, we already have to be sitting on well over a thousand magic cards. We still have a lot more you to get into. You want some Timberlands? Oh my God, those are Timberlands. Those are the heaviest Timberlands I've ever picked up in my life. Yeah. Holy. That's cute. all magic. That's all Look under. magic. These boxes full. I mean, these loose cards up here were probably what's in these because these are empty, but look, they're open at the top, so they probably just fell out from being stored. But let me just take out like one of these. Oh, yeah. I can tell you already. This is completely full. Look. Bang. <laughs> Man, we're going to have to take these somewhere. Is it all? That's full. That's full. That's full that every single box is full. And then if you look over here, there's just still steady stacks and stacks of Magic the Gathering cards. I mean, we're talking thousands of cards already, like I said, thousands, and we still have so much more unit. Let's pull out the last couple things stuck on that shelf. This says Vanguard. This isn't heavy enough to be cards unless it's only a couple. No, it's weird little red guys. Look at those. Da -da -da. The year on these guys are, doesn't say. It just says trademark. So, no idea there more figures hey we just watched this yesterday i'm not even lying so dragon ball is like you know my thing i have like massive dragon ball collection and we just found the bojack figure in a second in charles yesterday one of the old vintage ones so we we're like let's go home and watch bojack's movie and watched it and now i just found it cool. <laughs> weird. that is weird we have this one hey bio broly the All stupid right. one of the stupidest dragon ball movies ever released by far but that one Full Metal Alchemist, and a couple little more anime DVDs here. This looks like a box set here that's missing the actual box. This is um, the complete first season of Full Metal Alchemist, so probably got a couple seasons here. So on the online pictures, we couldn't see what was in here too well. So this shelf, it kind of is gonna go because, well, we took the car because it looked like a small unit. Now we have this big shelving unit right there and this little one right there, and all we have is our little Kia Forte. So. After we're done going through it, me and that thing are probably going to have to, you know, probably going to have to fight. <laughs> Alright, let's pull out this big old black case here and unlock it to see what's black in here. Black cases are good. I like cases. What do you think it is? Yeah. Hopefully it's full of magic. It would have been a lot heavier than that. <laughs> <laughs> it's full of those warhead figure things. Oh, a tank. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Are these all that's in these bags too? It is. Look. So this whole case is literally just loaded with this Warhammer stuff. And I still have like no idea if this is a complete gold mine or they're just cheap crap. I have no clue. That's one thing I've, I've bought hundreds of units over years and I've never found anything Warhammer until right now. So I don't know. So I got two shoe boxes that I can already tell you unless these are like Goku's weighted clothes. They're not shoes. 
Dang it. I think we have more, oops, wrong way. More cards. Boom. All Magic the Gathering. This deck's not even open yet. Look at that. It's All still right. sealed in the plastic. Cards, cards, cards. I mean, again, hundreds of cards. And this might be the same thing. Look at that. What is this? Are these the dice used? Open. Sounds like those, like, multi-sided, yeah, these. And then what is this right here? Ooh, are these, like, good cards? Oh, he has some sleeve ones in here. Look at this right here. Come here. Look at the case one, guys, to understand these or know these. Tell me if these are anything. And then let's see what's in this case, because this case looks interesting. These are all sleeved. Every single one of them. Now that's crazy. If you guys would like to see... Oh, ditto. That's not ditto. Bulbs in it? What? I don't know. <laughs> it says something duplicate on it. I don't know. Oh yeah, ditto can take the form of Pokemon, can he? It's been a long time since I watched Pokemon. <laughs> So what was I about to say? If you guys want to see a more in-depth video where we look at all the cards, let us know in the comments and we could probably do that on our second channel. If you're not subscribed to that one, you should because we go in depth a lot more than we do in these videos if you want to see that. That link's in the description. This box, I don't even know what I'm going to use this for, but I just want to use it. Look at this as a collector. That just looks like a cool display case that I want to find something to put in there. I don't know what yeah. yet, oh. but it looks cool. It in here. Oh. Well, it was bound to be in the unit somewhere. Always find the kitchen stuff. Always, always, always. So, just a bunch of kitchen stuff we'll throw out at our yard sale. So, the shelf called in backup, huh? They think because they can go 2v1 on me, they're going to win? They have no idea. They're going to get smashed after we're done going through this unit. I got another black case. Ooh. What does this one say? Citadel. Citadel. So, probably some more, like, tabletop splash things. Ooh, it looks Whoa. weird. Whoa, is that a purse? Yes. Check this out first. What is that? Right. I don't even know. Steelers. Hall of Fame Pro Football. Yeah, probably Steelers. I just saw this. I said it. Yeah. What kind of purse is this? This looks like it's new. It's definitely new. It doesn't look like it. It's brand new. Brand. There's a wallet in it and everything. There's a brand on it. What does that say? Shamaya. Shamaya. Ooh, look what I see under it. <laughs> Controllers. So, right there, two. Nice. Are these scuffs? Why does this look so fancy? Still no. I don't know. It, looks, it looked fancy to me. This one doesn't have its battery pack, but that's cool. And then two Xbox One controllers are right there. We have the Steelers blanket, the Nike hat. What's this guy? Let's see. It says something there. Solid. I don't know. I don't know either. <laughs> I don't know if I want to open it either. Um, it's brand new. More Steelers. What's this? Something else brand new. Let's see. It's got something on it. I can't tell because I don't want to. I mean, I guess I'll take it out of this plastic. Just so we can. Enough to pull the tag out and we can read what it is or what it's worth. So let's see. Alyssa. There's your brand. And uh, it doesn't have the price on it. Thanks. But it looks like it could be fancy. So that's pretty cool. And then look at this. We have this metal can here. Which is also Steelers colors, but I don't think it's Steelers. So. Another box of jackpots. So we're literally about to load the box back up and I completely missed the fact that this Steelers ball has a signature on it. It looks like it's a Super Bowl something on it right there. Mm -hmm. So if anyone recognizes who's 56 on the Steelers, make sure you let us know because that looks like it could be a super nice signed ball. Now let's see what's in the red bag. Dynamic discs. I don't know what that means. Hopefully it means games. Let's open it up somehow. If we figure out how to get I in it. I see turtle beaches. I see turtle beaches too. Nice ones too. Turtle beach, where's the model? Stealth 700s. Those are nice. And we have another pair. These are um, afterglows for the PlayStation. Where's my console, man? All this gaming stuff. <laughs> the console's got to be in here. What kind of bag do we have here? Oh, bright. That is bright. It looks like a freaking highlighter. There's paper in it, but no brand name. So. Hmm, not sure what brand it is. Another one of these. I feel like we find these in every other unit. Like, like everybody the has them. Yeah, I like the color better. Because usually it's, you know, that pink yeah, always. That so, pink. bright Fading pink. pink. <laughs> That's just a charging pad and a tape measure, I think. Right? Is that a tape measure? Uh, it looks like a speaker. No, oh, it's a speaker. It looked like a tape measure, though. It was the right <laughs> size, didn't it? So is that all that's in here? That's such a weird accumulation of objects, isn't it? What's this? Let's go back. T. All right, so a camera, <laughs> a purse, and turtle beaches. 
and an empty box and a speaker. That's how I store my stuff too. I'm off my game today. <laughs> We're literally loading this back up. Look how nicely this blended in with the bag. Yeah, I like, thought it was just the back of the bag. It looked so much like the bag. But this is a Lenovo ThinkPad. Some of these are expensive. And it's an i7 processor. That's whoa. a good laptop right there. And we found that char the charger maybe earlier, that, that wire. That probably goes right to it. This is a good laptop. I wish I could see more specs on it. But right now, it's got Windows 10 on it. And it's got nice. an i7 processor. So the fact that it has an i7 processor usually means it's going to have good overall specs. I'm hoping because it's in here with the turtle beaches and gaming stuff, maybe it's a gaming laptop or made to be gaming laptop. It has good parts in it and stuff like that. But we won't know that until we get it home, get it on, and get it restored. So we got this beautiful laptop home, and to our lucky surprise, it had no password on it. So we didn't even have to worry about restoring it. We got into it, opened it up, and it has an i7 processor, 16 gigs of RAM. The only negative was the fact that it has a small hard drive, only 250 gigs. But overall, this is an awesome laptop. And if we go over over here to eBay, we can see that the last one that sold, sold for $441. And this one works perfectly. Let's pull up these two boxes from the corner. Can I just say, we almost didn't buy this unit because the price went too high, but man, you just never know. That's why I love what I do so much. You just never know. So it looks like more, war, yeah, more hammer right down there. Figures. Uh, Nico Derm, is it like, um, yeah. That's for like people that are addicted, right? I guess this is like more stuff to go with the game. Screen armor for a Switch, it looks like. There's a new mouse. Hey, the, the, um, the mouse that goes Yeah, I said it had the little USB yep. thing in it. I saw it. <laughs> Got more cards. These are Warhammer cards. So that's pretty cool. Let's see, let's see. This is a Nintendo charger. So I'm hoping that, that whatever that charges is somewhere else. Look at that box. It looks like it's spray painted, doesn't it? Yeah. Weird. Let's see. Ew. But a gross food container. <laughs> There's a fork in there still. That's nasty. But look at the bottom of it. So a bunch more of these figurines. This looks like it's almost hand painted. Like I wonder if these are hand painted or not. But there's a lot of those figures, those Warhammer figures in there. So I feel like I have a record on repeat right now. Could be a <laughs> jackpot or could be worth nothing. I don't know. Let's see what these are right here. Did I just see what? I, yeah, I did just see what I think I saw. Warhammer. Warhammer, Warhammer, Warhammer. Let me quickly point out the fact that these books are selling for an average of $40 a piece and there's four of them, cha-ching. And what does that one say? What I need to be doing and staying on. <laughs> oh no, it says ketogenic diet cookbook. <laughs> Like, I, I love and hate keto so bad. Like, it works so well, and it makes my body feel so amazing, but I am just a fat guy that loves food. I can't help it. I just like going places and It's just stuff. the bad food, too. Yeah. These feel like they're... No, I heard it. I said it felt like they're white, the right weight to be shoes, but... Nope. It's more Warhammer. A lot of them, too. So, is any of your shoes actually in the shoe boxes, or are they all figurines? Let's just grab the other couple. I don't know. Can I find, like, one pair of shoes? Now let's see here. These are heavy. Let's see what's in these. One of these are cards. <laughs> let's see. Wolverine. They, these can all be cards because they're not like Jordan and Nike. More figurines. What's in here? More figurines? More? Okay. All right. So more of those guys. Oh, that's probably where the weight's coming from. Let's see. Oh. Boom. What is in here? Is it magic? Give me one. Magic the Gathering. <laughs> we have thousands of magic cards right now. Thousands. Lastly. Oh my gosh. Speak of the devil. Yeah, they're in there. Speaking, every single box is full. This is insane, man. We have to find one of those shops and just take like, we got a couple magic cards to bring to you. Can you take a look at them? We just show up with like 10,000 cards. <laughs> That's probably gonna be what happens. This box is super heavy on it and just says very fragile. No, it's empty. But you jumped, don't lie. You <laughs> jumped, I know you did. Oh, I see PlayStation games in this box. PlayStation 2, the best era. And these can actually be very good games. Primal for the PlayStation 2. That's in there with the manual, always a plus. Legacy of Cain Defiance. That's in there, no manual. And then we have Zone of the Enders, the second runner. In there with the manual. So two out of three with the manual, that's good. And this is another airbrush box, but no airbrush. Ooh, I see, these are baseball cards. Like they look old. All right. Let's pull, oh, they're from 1981, so they're not like super old. 
but yeah, that's pretty cool. Some baseball cards, I know you guys like those. Uh, paperwork, yes, finally. I've almost, like, honestly been waiting for paperwork because I wanted this guy's name. I wanted to be able to look him up, see what he's got going on. Because I'm weird like that. Uh, let's see. Oops. You didn't see that. That had, like, a bunch of personal info in it. One other tank. So, paperwork. This looks like a medical bag. I'm seeing a bunch of lancets, things like that, so. Oh. A switch controller. A switch controller. So, all that's medication. Looks like a bunch of testing strips. Are they expired? Because if not... They can be good money too. Let's see, even if they are expired, people still buy them all the time on eBay. Obviously at a much less price, I guess from 2016. So honestly, probably just donate them. Let's get this stuff off the boxes before we pull out more boxes. So looks like we have a couple DVDs of Eastern Promises. That's just a alchemy thing. Afro Samurai, more Full Metal Alchemist. This is, um, doesn't say, oh, part five. So it looks like we might have three or so seasons of that. And these are more of the wartime figures, which I still don't know if they are a jackpot or they're junk. Somebody help me in the comments. And guess what I see written on this box right here. <laughs> what? I'm not in a good mood or nothing. Pops! Pops! I love the Funko. Well, only the Dragon Ball ones. These are the only ones I collect. <laughs> but it's open. Let's see who we... Oh, there's a lot. Whoa, dog cool. meat. I recognize him. From oh, Fallout. Oh, it's a Fallout one. Yeah. Keeping dog, is that Pegasus? No, never, I thought it was, um, what's his Pegasus from Yu-Gi-Oh? Cowboy Bebop? Yeah, it's an anime, I'm pretty sure. Elder Scrolls? That's what that one is? Yeah, I could tell by that helmet. Look how many are in here, I don't see any Dragon Ball though, disappointing. <laughs> High Elf from the Elder Scrolls. Uh, that guy, hmm. Another Elder Fire. Scrolls one, yeah. Yep. Uh, let's see what else is down there. I see Chucky! Where? That's not Chucky. That's not Chucky? No. Oh, it's a dog. I thought it was Chucky and <laughs> a bear. It looked like the red hair. It looked like the right hair, so. I get, hey, is that Star Wars? Yeah, they're just, oh look, that's a um, convention exclusive. Cool. Stickers kind of beat up, so that one could definitely have some value. We actually have the Funko Pop app on the phone, so I'll literally be able to just pop these in and look up the exact trading price they're going for right now. But overall, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 more Funko Pop, plus the ones we already have, so we have over 20 pops so far. Guess what I got? The pull-up bar. Did you guys know I'm a pull-up champion? I can do 20 in 10 minutes, or five minutes, minus 20. I can't even do one. I'm a disappointment. <laughs> Getting down to the end, let's pull out this. So we have the Pixar lamp right there. Ooh, those are underwear. Get, get out. Ooh, uh, I don't know how to get them out. <laughs> You want it? No. I'm gonna throw it at you. Please don't. <laughs> uh, some more figurines. <laughs> this is some Paladins. Citadel. Citadel Paladins. Um, well, that sounds like there's something in it. Shaving. Ooh. Look at all the dice down here. One, two, three boxes and another part of the Nintendo Switch. Where's the Switch? Where's the Switch? Oh, dice. 30 bucks for these dice though. So they can be pricey. What is that thing? Neon. Yeah, it's probably for the airbrush. Oh, yeah. Ew, I don't have no more. And this down here, well, it looks like a lot more pieces to the same thing we've been finding, like the Warhammer stuff. So, no idea. What do you want me to pull out? That box or this pile of stuff in the box under it? Mm, Pick that one. one. This one? Yeah. All right. Oh my God. It's like a million pounds. <laughs> I wonder what that could be. <laughs> so well, that's what I think it is. First things first, True Blood DVD. And then we have Destiny for Xbox One. Bang! I haven't found that in the dumpster a million, million times. No. Hey, Black Ops Three. <laughs> We're keeping this one. <laughs> and Spanish English Dictionary. <sighs> that's such a good thing. Another whole box of Magic the Gathering cards. I'm guessing that's what these little card boxes are too, probably. Oh, of course they are. What's in the big sleeve? Guys, the know this stuff. Is that something amazing? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Every time I see a random just one card sleeved, I'm like, mm. that's gotta be a reason for that. This one's misc. Figures, no cards. This thing says Dark Eldar. I guess more figures. Oh. Well, you see what it says? Get off there, bug. Chris's books. Let's hope they're like some of those anime books because those are money. And we got Bibles, The Great Betrayal. 
quote. Don't you go anywhere. Always look in the Bibles because sometimes people put money in them. Yet to ever find it, but everyone always tells me that's the case. Never happened to me yet. One day it will. One day. So we have some of these. What's this big old book here? This just looks nerdy. Look at that. Might be a game guide. Yeah. It is. The complete game guide for Dragon Age 2. And then we have the game guide for Dragon Age 1. Werewolf. Pokemon black and white version. Then we got World of Warcraft. What else? Dark Souls. Skyrim. Just a whole bunch of game guides. Let's pull off this box. I think you're going to like the box next to it. Why? It says shoes on it. Ah. Maybe we'll find those Jordans that were in that, supposed to be in that box. This, oh my goodness. Whoa. Hello, beautiful. All those right there. Uh, that thing. And that thing. It's an Apple Watch. Ooh, it is. Come on. This is, I don't want to say their box has weight because their boxes always have weight. Yeah, they, they always do. feel like they're in there when they're not. But let's see if we got an Apple Watch. No. We have that piece. That's probably just a cover or something. One day, the Apple Watch is going to be in there. I feel like I found probably 40 Apple Watch boxes but never an Apple Watch. I just knocked the book down. So, what is that? Contour Next Link. I don't even know. Nope. All right, so let's look at the game cases. Are they in there? Evolve. Ooh, yeah, it's going to be good right here. So we also got, hey, look, holiday oh. collection of the peanut. Or oh, all the, holy crap. Yeah, look at they go all the way down. Rainbow Six Siege. Let's just pull out a huge handful. Pillars of Eternity Complete Edition. That looks like Elder Scrolls, but it, what is that? Huh, I've never even heard of this. This is the kind of nerdy stuff I'm usually into. I'm surprised. Gears of War in there. This is a good one. Divine in there. Battleborn in there. Tekken 7 in there. And Ori the Blind Forest also in there. Holy crap, guys. I did not realize how many. Ooh, Far Cry. This game is amazing. I love Far Cry. That's in there. Halo in there. Battlefront in there. How many of us one game? One of the goats right there. Fallout is just my favorite console game of all time. That uh, Monster Hunter, this game I did not like. I remember I got it all excited and now. Yeah. Neverwinter. The Witcher 3! That's a good game too. I had this while it was free on um, Xbox Game Pass, but I didn't even have the actual game. The actual game even in there? It looks like a soundtrack. No, I don't know. Huh. Alright, that's kind of depressing. The one I wanted. <laughs> Let's see what's down here at the bottom. Come here, all the rest of you. Oop, Blood Bowl. Rise, Roman Empire. Come here, what is that one? Xbox One, that's in there as well. Put that back in the case. Dragon's Dogma. And Shadow's Awakening. Holy crap, they're all in there. Look what I found! The Food Lover's Companion, how sweet. <laughs> Look what else I found. The Dragon Ball Saiyan showed, Showdown, the original OG uncut ones. If you haven't watched the original Dragon Ball Z uncut, you haven't lived anime. You haven't. Um, some more anime stuff. Full Metal Alchemist, that seems to be his favorite. I found more of that than anything else. In here is more pieces to figures. This is that's the Dragon Ball thing. I see another thing of Turtle Peaches. That's like the th legit third pair of Turtle Peaches from this unit. Ooh, what's that? Let's see what's in here. Oh, what is that? Huh, is this to like take apart consoles and stuff? It looks like electrical tools. Hmm. That might be what it's for, to take it apart. Maybe this dude knows how to mod them and stuff like that. We go over here, we have some more cases. It looks like it might be some more anime in here, actually. Let's pull these out. Ugh. Ugh. So, we got, oh yeah, look on the side. Let me make it a little easier. So a bunch of anime, and they look like they're Blu-rays instead of just DVDs, which means, you know, better quality. So a lot of Blu-rays here and some new DVDs, and I just dropped some scotch tape. And then there were two. We have Chris's shoes and Chris's clothes. And I know you really want to look at the shoes, so because of that, I'm going to grab the shoe box, scoot it over, yeah, and now we're going to grab the clothes box. <laughs> I would have chosen to do that anyway. All right, good. Good, good. I don't know if you're trying to use reverse psychology on me, so I'm just going to go along with it. <laughs> Let's see what kind of clothes he's got, because he's had kind of good stuff so far, so he might have nice clothes. There's just a belt. Dickies, nothing special. Eh, I'm not seeing nothing special. I'm just seeing basic t-shirts, like your nerdy graphic tees you get from Walmart. 
Diggy pants. Yeah, he doesn't got nothing special in there. So let's throw this one aside, and I guess let's get the shoe box. The last and final box is the shoe box. Now, does this guy have the cheap shoes, or are there Jordans in here? I think there has to be Jordans without a box. I see New Balance. Oop, no, I see Nike too. Oh yeah. I think we have a few good pairs. So let's see. First off, New Balance right there. But they're kind of worn, but they're nice. What size are these? Probably nine, 10. Yeah, somewhere in the middle where nobody can fit them. Your eight brand is 13 on 15. Yeah, these are 11s. <laughs> oh, it works like that. They always fit somewhere in the middle where nobody can actually wear them. Yep. So there's a nice little pair. Let's see, I have another one. Dude, these are beat. These are like skater looking Nikes. Yeah. They're too beat really to be worth too much. But those are these. <laughs> those are fancy looking. What brand are these things? Bruno, it looks like it says Bruno Mars. I don't know. He doesn't okay. have no shoes, does he? I mean, he would wear those. Yeah, he would definitely <laughs> wear these. So then we have, look at these down here. These might be decent shape. They're what Kobe's, aren't before, they? I feel like. 24. So other than that, you got these and you got some bands. So now just cross your fingers for us and hope we can fit this all in the car. <laughs> Heard you've been running your mouth like you got something to say, huh? Huh? Does he really want some? Say I won't tear its head off. <laughs> okay, I won't tear its head off. <laughs> you wanna play these games, huh? Now who's talking? Now who's talking? You want, you want your friend to get some too? Huh? What? You thought you were gonna help him? You thought you were gonna help him? Really? Huh? You ain't helping nobody. Come on. I'm gonna tear it to shreds. Should I just slam it? You deserve every bit of this, buddy. Don't talk about me again. Now that we're home and I recovered from my gruesome fight and I have bad injuries, let me show you some of the things we missed because they're cool. And let's just do an overall recap on the unit. And I gotta tell you the crazy backstory to this unit. This is probably the craziest one of all time. So first, look on the ground here. What you're seeing right here is all right here are those Warhammer figurines, those little mini figures and things like that. Right down here we have the purses that were basically brand new, the Xbox controllers along with the one Switch controllers, I think two or three total pairs of Turtle Beach headsets, 30 Xbox One games, three PlayStation 2 games, and I think four or five Xbox 360 games in this one. And then if you look right here, those cards, those stuff in the middle are just kind of miscellaneous, <coughs> but everything to the right, all the shoe boxes, white boxes, and all that is all Magic the Gathering cards. So again, if you guys want to see us take that to a shop or something, let us know because I definitely think we need to get that appraised. So then we have some Funko Pops, DVDs, things like that. And if you come over here, we figured out what the case went to because it just happened to fit perfectly. The Steelers football, still don't know who the signatures are on that thing right there, but Still kind of cool. Now let me show you the couple things we missed. I remember finding one Ditto card, but there actually was a decent amount of Pokemon cards in there, including a 1999 or 1998, whatever it is. The old ones, Electra Buzz. So a couple Pokemon, surprising. Over here, we got an iPod. Woo, and it's actually a 160 gig iPod. So this cuts on, the 160 gig ones still hold a little bit of value. I think they're about 80 bucks if it cuts on. This isn't that much valuable, but for us it is. We found a mini Piccolo, Piccolo added to our Dragon Ball collection, as you can't see in the room here, <laughs> right there. And look at this, police security. So the laptop here, we said we weren't gonna system restore it, but they had their um, Microsoft account and everything on it. So we figured, you know what? Let's just wipe it clean and start it fresh. So we restored the computer and we're actually gonna keep it because our old one here, this Toshiba, is a little less powerful than this Lenovo and since we need video editing, photo editing and stuff, the i7 processor plus 16 gigs of RAM will definitely do us some help and we don't have to go out and buy a new laptop. So we're keeping this one, it just got wiped clean. This one's in the process of being wiped clean, our old one, because then we're just gonna go ahead and sell that one. So you guys know I like to dig into the former owners and see what their past history was. Honestly, when I was going through this unit, just the stuff we were finding, just seemed like, you know, nerdy kid stuff. I wasn't expecting to find any type of, you know, criminal history, but 
was I wrong? Don't judge a book by its cover because this was the worst one I've ever found. So their last name kind of had a weird spelling so I knew it would be easy. I do what I usually do, take their first and last name, punch it into Google along with the city and state and see what pops up. And we get this thing that said, the guy's name, I don't want to say it, I almost said it, was going to court because of a hitman thing. So I was like, I clicked on the article, like what is going on? What is it talking about a hitman thing? So apparently like 10 or 15 years ago, this dude hired a hitman to take out his ex-wife. And apparently according to the article, he not to only took out the ex-wife, he took out the ex-wife, the kid, the dog, and they burned the house down. And apparently nobody was able to trace this to him until like 15 years later. I think it was like, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, somebody will probably find this article anyway. I think it was 2004 when it happened and I think he got in trouble or taken back to court in 2018. So I think it was like 14 years later. This dude thought he got away with it, but they weren't joking, they caught him. That is just crazy because you, you see the stuff in this unit, would you ever expect it to belong to like literally a murderer? Because I wouldn't have.